Hello and welcome back to Miami Star Tarot. Today I am doing a general reading for Pisces. This is not a reading that is focused on anything. It is basically whatever the cards want to tell me for July 2020. I am using today the Bianco Nero Tarot. It is a beautiful black and white illustrated tarot deck. It's ink illustrations, hand drawn. And they are very similar to, oh, I can't say very similar, but they are similar to the Rider Waite, the original, um, but very much modernized and more unique. Um, it's, I can't say more unique than those, but more they're unique in comparison to other tarot cards out there. There aren't many black and whites, and these are just beautiful, and you'll see, Pisces. I think you will love those. I'm gonna set those aside. Again, I'm not using um, any oracles this time. It is just a general tarot reading for Pisces for July 2020. So let's see what is going on for Pisces July 2020. I'm also going to do, I call a gypsy spread. So it's, it's sort of a uh, shorter version of a Celtic cross. I'm not sure if everyone else calls it Gypsy Spread, but that's just what I've named. I don't even know if anyone else uses this one, but I do. All right, Pisces, what is going on for you for July 2020? Pisces, July 2020. Okay, I'm going to do one more, and I think it'll feel pretty good. Right. Cut the deck. Two. I'm going to quickly just adjust the camera just a little bit. All right. I think that looks good. All right. So it is six cards. Just a little bit lower. There we go. It always looks so different on camera than it does in real life. So just trying to make the adjustments. All right, I will set this deck here for my clarifiers. All right, Pisces, let's see what is going on. Let me spread myself out here. So I'm gonna try to find the theme and the theme should be here. It's what's over you. So you've got the Seven of Swords, okay? And it looks like, Pisces, there is some, I don't want to say necessarily conflict as much as I want to say some deceit or some untruthfulness that might be discovered on whose side, yours or the other person's, or yours and a friend. I don't know yet, so I'm going to pull a clarifier for it right off the bat. And you have the Five of Swords, so there is definitely some sort of um, discontentment. Um, you have, I, I feel that there is something that has been discovered or you're going to discover it in July. And it doesn't really say what it, if it's like a romantic thing or is it something at work? Is it one of your friends, family members? It's not really getting into it yet. So... But what is very apparent is in July, you're going to uncover some acts of deceit or possibly um, you're going to find evidence of something that has happened. Um, not sure what that is, but we're going to keep pulling cards, okay? So July is definitely going to be a month of discovery for you. And you may have to just um, kind of reevaluate a friendship or some kind of a relationship as well due to that. This is the obstacle card. Things that are working against you or things that you're gonna to have to overcome or things that you need to apply into your life. So you're definitely gonna be cutting out a kind of a relationship, whether that is a, a loved one, I don't know, is it a friendship? but you're definitely gonna to have to be doing some cutting of ties in some ways. The, the Ace of Swords actually is a very good card because I 
All the aces are about a new beginning, an offer, something coming your way, the beginning of something great. And depending on the suit, it can, it can go on to um, extending it a little bit more as far as like the topic of what that is. And this one is you need to cut things out of your life you need a new beginning, you need a breather, and you need to start looking at something in a whole new light, okay? So there is definitely um, going to be changes for you in July as far as friendships go or some type of relationship. I am going to pull a clarifier for that one as well. It is called, this one is called the Fool card, and I feel that maybe you have been just a little bit foolish um, Pisces, somebody has, I think, manipulated you. You've you've been, uh, you've have three swords, and it shows to me that you just have not been paying that much attention to what's going on around you, possibly just being very trustful or wanting to believe what you feel is what you want to believe, not necessarily the truth. The fool is not, um, I mean, he. it's a fool. It's a person that, um, it's not necessarily someone who's not smart. It's just somebody who chooses to look at things in a very naive sort of way. A person who maybe is in love and they, they're choosing not to um, notice signs that are there. I'm going to show you this here. Um, the Seven of Swords shows um, a man who is stealing all these swords and then there are some that are kind of staying behind. In the original Rider way, it looks like he dropped a couple as he's trying to make a getaway. So it's, it, to me, like this also indicates some clues. So you are kind of finding the breadcrumbs that this person is leaving behind and maybe you have found some of those breadcrumbs in the past but you have chosen or just really just not put it together and thought, okay, this person's being deceitful. It's not really telling me that it's a relationship or something at work, but I think Pisces, if this is resonating with you in any way, shape, or form, you know what it is. You know if this, is have, if this has something to do with a relationship, a romantic relationship, or if it has something to do with just a friendship or maybe something at work. So I want you to think about that and see what area in your life have you maybe been finding those clues or those hints that you haven't wanted to admit to yourself? Oh, this looks like deceit or this looks like this person's hiding something. Because you really want to believe the best in people. And you, you know, Pisces does have a tendency to be a little daydreamy and romanticize things. So that could be part of it is that you're just not looking at it with the negative lens. Even when something does look kind of off to you, it's not that you're choosing to ignore it. It's just that the way you look at things just seems to be a little more dreamy, a little bit more positive than some other people do. And that can cause you to not notice things that might be really obvious to other people. All right, I'm going to turn this card over right here. And this card is sort of like a soft future, um, things that you may co come into contact with, something that may turn the, itself into being yours, something you can work with, but it's not yours yet, okay? So I'm going to turn this card, and you have the Knight of Cups, okay? The Knight of Cups is um, definitely someone coming your way with an offer of love. They are... Um, possibly even coming into I'm not sure if it's if it's necessarily an apology but maybe they are going to come to you in a in a way to try to smoothen things out with you all right Pisces so I am going to pull a clarifier for that but it looks like coming at your yes coming to you is they are going to try to make an offer to you to fix whatever it is that's going on. So whatever this person did, they are going to try to make amends for it. And it's up to you, Pisces, 
to decide if this is something that you want to deal with. Okay, whatever it is that you uncovered, it could be infidelity, it could be they were hiding an aspect of their personality, maybe, um, I don't know, they're doing things that you don't want them to do, like maybe drinking too much, maybe drugs. I, I don't know, only you would know that, Pisces, but it looks like they are definitely going to come to you to try to make amends. The Three of Pentacles is building of a foundation, teamwork, working together. And it looks to me, Pisces, that this person, regardless of what they did, they don't want your relationship to end and they are definitely going to try to move forward with it and do whatever it takes to, to earn your respect, your forgiveness. Okay? So I think that you definitely need to, you know, acknowledge this card and try to um, not to be the fool anymore. I need to plug in my, my camera, so excuse me, because then this reading is not going to work. All right, sorry about that, we got it going, yep. All right, it was just about to lose its charge. All right, so that's good news. I think that if it's something, Pisces, that you can forgive, that, this person is going to come to you and try to make amends and try to write things with you, okay? So it's not looking like it's anything too dramatic at this point, um, but you be the judge of that, okay? This card here is what you do have to work with, what's on your side, and it's available to you right now. And it is a beautiful card, the Six of Cups. This is the card of... Um, it could be soulmates, it could be memories, remembering someone fondly, a relationship that you have really good feelings, uh, you, you have good energy toward and you feel like it's good energy toward you. Um, it's just a lot of good feelings, no hard feelings with this card. So I have a feeling that right now, whatever it is that this person has done, I don't think you're going to stay mad at them for very long. So hopefully for the majority of you, whatever it is that you uncovered, it's not going to be something that you can't work through. Okay. Because according to this card, it shows that you have this in your favor. You've got some great memories. You really enjoy um, being with this person. And I feel that you are probably going to be very, um, open and willing to pursue a relationship with them. Okay, so that is a very good card to have for having that at your disposal. All right, so this one here is your recent past to present future. Yeah, to present, not the future, to the present. What am I saying? Um, this one's the, the future. So you have this card right here that is going to tell us, and usually, you know, the past, recent past is, is relevant to some people for being like, oh, this happened last month or two months. To other people, it's relevant two years. You know, depending just on your life, the way you process information, you know, how things affect you. Uh, you know, this could be two years ago. It could be 10 years ago even. It's how, how things from your past affect your present. So this is a card that shows... Um, your feelings and how you process them in the present, I guess is what I'm saying. So in this one, you got the 10 of swords, and this is a card of completion of a cycle. And because it is the swords and you know, this is how many swords do you have now? One, two, three, four. So you have four swords. It is, to me, it is showing that maybe in the past you have had trouble cutting people out of your life when you needed to. You maybe have not been very good at ending things completely with people, like you give a lot of second chances. And I have, I pulled a clarifier already for it, and it's the King of Pentacles. And it shows that, you know, you, you have a longing to have a long-term relationship. And maybe that is why you've had some difficulties in the past um, to cut things out of your life. And it also shows 
that in your life, you, you really do want to have stability and you want to have somebody there that you can count on. And possibly even like material comforts are important to you. And so, you know, sometimes making the ending permanent or, you know, without getting back together with, with people that aren't good for you, that you look at it in a way that you, you're just longing for that longevity in a relationship, even when it no longer serves you. So I'm thinking that because you did get the Ace of Swords, that it's kind of hinting at the fact that you need to start from the beginning and start nipping things in the bud before they get out of control. And you probably need to start opening your eyes a little bit more and cutting things out from the beginning when, they, when they're not serving you, okay? The Ten of Swords isn't always a bad card. You know, in, in relation to the spread right now, it is just telling me that it looks like you don't have the tendency to complete things the way they should, that you don't have, maybe like you're longing if you're in love with this person that you don't want to let go, okay? And, you know, the King of Pentacles that you're really wanting that security, that long-term relationship. And so sometimes you tend to stay in things that maybe past due date has already gone because you crave that security. Ace of Swords says you need to stop doing that. You need to give yourself fresh beginnings and allow yourself to explore other options as well. Okay, this one here, Pisces, is your soft future. It is the opposite of this card right here. It is, uh, and I say soft future because in tarot, we're reading, it's like a live reading. It is happening now. It is always, there's always room for movement. So decisions that you make today, uh, it's basically if you keep following the path that you're going on, that is basically what's happening here, okay? It could also give suggestions like this Ace of Sword on how you can fix certain things so that things move more in your favor in the future. So. This here is your future as of right now, what you can look forward to, but it could also change. You can change it for the better, you can change it for the worse, okay? And changing it for the worse is not remembering, you know, your past tendencies and the obstacles and not listening to the obstacles too. Okay, let's see what is in your future. And you got the Five of Cups, okay? I'm gonna pull a clarifier for that. The Five of Cups, is a card that signifies a looking at things with a negative lens, which is what you don't usually do. Maybe you are going to not pay attention to things that you have been warned about here. So let me flip the other one. You've got the Seven of Cups. And this actually, you got a lot of cups as well for, let me see, you got one, two, three, one, two, I can't count. Three, four cups, yeah. You have the seven of cups, which means looking at things in a way that is not reality, okay? So I have a feeling, Pisces, that you might, if you're not careful, continue the same path as not um, knowing when something should be over or not paying attention to the clues that are left. Um, this person is going to come to you for forgiveness. They're going to try to work things out with you. It's up to you to decide if whatever it is that you uncovered is bad enough to say bye-bye, you know, or if you want to continue the relationship. As far as I can see, as far as your future goes with these two cards is, you know, disappointment and looking at things more, I said looking at it in a negative way. I'm going to take that back because that's not what I really meant to say is you're going to look at things the way you want to see them, okay? So this person may or may not be sincere when they come to you and want to work things out. No doubt they're going to want to work things out, but as far as changing their ways or truly uh, 
um, truly being remorseful for what they've done. I don't know if maybe it's something in their nature. They're not really going to be able to change. They're not really thinking about changing. They want you to forgive them. They, they're going to want to work things out. But I feel like this future is more of a warning to don't, here, this is the card right here, the seven, is to really look and focus on what needs to be focused on. Don't just blindly say, oh, you know what, it's okay, and then move on with that person like it shows in your past with the Ten of Swords. You really need to open your eyes and take a really good look and focus, razor focus, on what is going on around you with this person. Because when I put this away, this card right here is the disappointment card. I mean, you're definitely going to see a lot of bad things happening. You're going to be ignoring some other things that are around you. But this card shows the tendency to fantasize or to live more in a dream world, not being able to make up your mind. You see the bad, you see the good, and then maybe you tend to focus on what what just looks better to you. And in this case, it might be, you know what? I really love this person. I'd rather believe that they are sorry. They'll never do it again and keep going that way. And then the cycle keeps going. Okay, Pisces? So in your future, it shows that you may have the tendency to go back to your previous tendencies of just not knowing when to say enough is enough. Okay? And I recommend, I suggest that you take those clues, you put them together, and you make a really solid decision as far as what you want to do about the relationship. Because it seems to me like even though the person is sincere in wanting to work things out with you, this person may take advantage of your good nature. Okay? So Pisces, if this resonates, please give me a thumbs up, a like. And I would love it if you subscribe to my channel, please. I can um, definitely use comments. I would love to hear what you have to say. I also am very open to suggestions of what you guys would like to see, you and all other signs, what kind of readings you like to see. Um, being that I am kind of new at this, I'm not new at tarot reading. I've been doing it for almost 30 years, but I am definitely new at doing th this on YouTube. All right. So Pisces, thank you for visiting Miami Star Tarot. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.